Let's set up for knit one, purl one ribbing. First of all, the needles are set up so that if all came out, all would hit. This is done by means of racking. I'm reaching my left hand over to the racking handle to show you. Now they're alternating, but we really want them set up so they all would hit, but we're not going to use them all, so they will not. Let's put, this is the selector comb for knit one purl one or any other, every other needle situation. Points down, pull your needles up. Points down. And I picked the wrong needles. I need to go one needle to the right. There we go. Now we have them coming out alternately. I'm going to move the camera so you can watch me thread. It's not difficult. The yarn comes out of the yarn bowl, up over the tensioning spring, There you go. Now you can see. And you pull this spring, the one that sticks out, down to receive it. And rotate the yarn into it. That can be tricky to think about, so I'm going to do it again. If I can successfully get it out. there is an end, a wire end, towards the back. So if you bring your yarn beneath the spring and then loop it to the right, it pops into the opening. That done, we need to drop it between the two beds, the loose end, and pull the excess down. I've got more excess here than is ideal, but We'll just work with it. Okay, that's out of the way. Now here's the part to really watch. There is a wire loop, very thick wire. I'm going to move this in so you can see it a little better. Right there. This is not difficult to do. It's difficult to, for me to do and keep from blocking the camera. See, I got under the wire loop, but we're not done yet. This triangle has a slot in it, and now we're done. Now we're ready. Let me back off a little bit for you. I hold one hand on the yarn tail habitually because most knitting machines do better if you do that. And I'm rotating my stitch size dials back to the number one. We almost always start this cast on with a very small stitch size. Now here we go across. Everything's set on in. This is called your zigzag row. And by the way, this is pretty much identical for all kinds of double bed work, including machines where the river is separate and you have added it. We're bringing the cast on comb up from beneath and inserting the wire into the holes in the cast on comb. My cast on comb is sadly a little bit beat up, so you're going to see me struggling here and there. There we go. Here's the last naughty spot. And we'll drop it on down. It's important that you do give it a tug with the hand that's underneath. If it's sitting up here like this, it's going to get caught in the next passes of the carriages or slides, as the case may be. We move across. Stitches should form on one bed, but not the other. Here they go across the back bed. My comb's trying to pop up, so I'm going to pull it down, and I'm also going to add a little bit more weight. I should have put this on before. This last needle didn't knit properly, but nothing went badly wrong, so I will manually create that stitch. 
Now when I move to the left, it should knit the front bed needles. And it did. Now, because there's a zigzag yarn at the very beginning of all this, then the back needles knitted, then the front needles knitted, these stitches are locked into place, and they will not drop or unravel. Let's push everything back to end. And I'm going to increase the stitch size just a little bit more. This varies quite a bit with the yarn and with what you want to accomplish. But I did that. Now we're ready. Every needle should knit, every selected needle, which is actually every other one, on both beds. And our cast on is complete. This is variously called the circular or tubular cast on in different manuals for different machines. It's always the same. It's a closed, non-raveling cast on that makes a perfectly acceptable beginning to a piece of work. At this point, we don't want everything on end in. We want on one bed R for knitting in the round. On the right side, on the other bed, we want to select that on the left side. We also want to raise the stitch size significantly. I'm doing this by feel. To about stitch size three or four for this yarn. Let's see, that's our cast off. This is what it looks like. Nice and neat, as long as you get that zigzag row tight that's why we use stitch size one, even on yarn that would knit much larger later.